Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the linear inequality given its graph. Last week, we have uploaded a video on how to graph a linear inequality in two variables. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now we have here the topic, how to find the linear inequality given the graph. So as you can see, we have here a given graph of linear inequality in two variables on a Cartesian plane. And our task here is to find the original linear inequality in two variables. So given these three steps, we will be able to find the original inequality. So for step number one, so we have here find the y-intercept and the slope of this given line. So let's write here step number one. When you say y-intercept, it is the point within the y-axis. And if you will be analyzing this given graph, this is your y-intercept, meaning your b is equal to 3. Second, for the slope, we need to use the rise over run. So I will locate another point and my target here is to use this point because it crosses the x-axis. So this will be your second point for you to find the slope. So let's have the rise over run. Starting from this point, going to this point, the value of your rise is 1, 1, 2, and 3. So that will be 3. And then as you can see, our run is equal to 2 because we have here two units, 1 and 2. So we have here 3 over 2. Again, how to find your slope? Given these points, I have located another point for us to have the rise over run. From this point, 1, 2, 3. And for your run, you will be counting units from left to right. It will be 1 and 2. Therefore, the value of our slope is simply 3 over 2. And next step, after finding the slope and the y-intercept, step number 2, we have here to substitute them to the slope-intercept equation. For step number two, for you to be guided, you need to write y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? So, all you need to do is to substitute these values to your slope-intercept form. So, you have your y is equal to 3 over 2 as the value of your m, x plus your b, which is your y-intercept, that is equal to 3. And there you have it. You already have the linear equation. But we're not yet done. Our task here is to find the, y is to find the linear inequality of the graph. So doing step number 3, replace the equation to inequality based upon the line and shading of the graph. So let me explain first. This is step number three because this one is crucial for your final answer. So we have the different inequality symbols. We have the greater than, less than, greater than or equal, and less than or equal. So the given graph will determine which among these four symbols is for it to be used in your given or in your answer. As you can see, the line is a solid line. Therefore, our choices must be greater than or equal or less than or equal. Now, sir, how to choose between these two symbols? All you need to do is to inspect where is the shading. In this graph, the shading is below the line. Therefore, we will be using this symbol, less than or equal. So we will replace this equal sign to be 
y is less than or equal to 3 over 2 x plus 3. This is the answer for the given graph. Again, first, you need to find the slope and the y-intercept. Second, you need to substitute the value of your y-intercept and slope to your slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. And then, you will be choosing among the four symbols, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, for your final answer. And we use less than or equal because this one is solid line and the shading of the graph is below the line. Okay? So we have here example number two, and this one is quite different from the first one, for sure. So without the use of those steps, we're not seeing it. We will try to find the original equation or original linear inequality of this graph. So for step number one, step number one, we need to find your y-intercept and slope. So for your y-intercept, uh, try to see where is the intersection of your graph and the y-axis. And here it is. This is your y-intercept. Your b is equal to 4. And then for the slope, try to find the x-intercept. So I will be choosing this point because, because the line or the graph and the x-axis, this is their point of intersection. So getting to your Second point, you will be using rise over run. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. So your rise is equal to 4. And then for your run, as you can see, we will be moving, or we will count units from right to left. So it will be negative. So from this point, one, two, and three. So this will be equal to negative three. And simplifying your slope, you have negative four over three. Then right after this, we'll be using step number two. We will substitute the value of B and M in your Y is equal to MX plus B, or simply your slope intercept form. Given this, y is equal to negative 4 over 3 x plus 4. This is the linear equation. And now, going to your step number 3. We will choose from greater than, less than, greater than or equal, or less than or equal for our final answer. So as you can see, we're using a broken line. This is a broken line, meaning our choices must be greater than or less than. So how to choose between the two? Look at the given graph. The shading of the graph is above the line, meaning we will be using greater than symbol. Again, why do we choose greater than symbol first? The graph uses a broken line and then the shading or the shading of the graph is above the line. Therefore, the final answer or the original linear inequality is none other than y is greater than negative 4 over 3x plus 4. Now, I hope you learned something from this video and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated in our latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!